Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from mensuration. A, B, C and D is a rhombus with side length 10 cm. Angle A, D, C is given as 40 degrees. D, A, C is a sector of a circle with center D. And B, A, C is a sector of a circle with center B. Calculate the shaded area. So here we have to find out what is the area covered by this shaded region. Now let us begin by understanding the properties of the rhombus. Rhombus has all the sides equal. So since AD is given as 10 cm, AB also is 10 cm, BC is 10 cm and CD is also 10 cm. So this is one of the properties of a rhombus. Additionally, the opposite angles of a rhombus are always equal. So opposite to angle D is angle B. So if this is 40 degrees, this also is 40 degrees. So let us write here 40 degrees. Now once we have understood this, let us start by considering the sector DAC only and find out what is the region covered by this sector. So let me draw over here again. So here we have taken only the sector DAC and over here I am going to divide this shaded region into two parts. So let me draw a line over here and I have divided the shaded regions into two parts. Now here the AC over this side that is let me highlight it. This represents a segment of the sector DAC and we have a triangle ADC over here and we have a segment AC over here. Now to find out the area of the segment we are going to consider the area of the sector DAC and subtract the area of the triangle DAC. So let me write over here. So area of segment AC is equal to area of sector ADC, this entire sector, minus area of triangle ADC. If you can see, there is a triangle formed here between this red line and the black lines. Now let us write down the formula for area of sector and area of triangle. Now area of the sector ADC is given as theta over 360 times pi r square where theta represents the central angle of the sector and in this case it is 40 degrees and the radius of the sector is going to be 10 cm taking d into consideration because it forms a kind of circle with d as the center of the circle. So 10 acts as a radius of the sector and area of the triangle ADC we have taken the formula half times a times b times sin theta where a and B are the sides of the triangle ADC. So we can consider A over here as 10 cm and B is also going to be 10 cm since all the sides of the rhombus are going to be equal. So A is 10, B is 10 and sin theta, the theta is the angle which lies between the two given sides. So in this case theta is again going to be 40 degrees. So let us substitute the values over here. We have theta that is the central angle of the sector as 40. So 40 over 360 degrees times pi times radius that is radius of the sector is 10 centimeter. So we have 10 square minus 1 over 2 times as we took a as 10, b as 10 and sine theta we are going to take it as sine of 40 degrees that is the angle between the given two sides. Now let us calculate and find out what is the value over here. So let us find out the value of the first part. So we have here 40 times pi times 10 square is 100 over 360. So that will give us a value of 34.9065. So I'm going to take till four decimal places to get the maximum accurate answer. So I'll write it as 34.9065 minus. Now let me calculate the second part of it. So we have 
10 times 10 is 100 times sin 40 over 2. So here we get it as 32.13938. I will round it as 32.1394. So 32.1394. So let us check how much we get the value here by subtraction. So 34.9065 minus 32.1394 will give you the answer of 2.7671. So let me write here 2.76 and 71. And this is centimeter square because we are finding the area. Now this area represents only half a part of the shaded region. Now the other half is going to be exactly the replica of the previous region which we have got because as we have seen, this is a rhombus. The sides were same and the opposite angles were same. So the sector BAC is exactly the same as sector ADC. So now we can write it as area of the shaded region, which is this part, is equal to area of the segment AC belonging to the sector DAC. Let me highlight it. It is going to be this region, this segment, plus area of the segment AC belonging to the sector BAC. It would be this region. Since both the regions are same, we are going to take this answer that is 2.7671 and add it again. So 2.7671. You can also multiply this answer by 2. That would also give you the same answer. So let me take it as 2.7671 plus 2.7671 so we get 5.5342 I'm rounding it to just two decimal places so the answer is going to be 5.53 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded region for the given diagram I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.